Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM1 The Kids. Today we're talking Football Manager 2021. We're talking the best right-sided attacking midfielders you can buy in the game. So right-wingers, AMRs, right-wingers, I said right-wingers twice, attacking midfielders, right, what do you call them nowadays? I don't know, sometimes they're inside forwards. Anyway, you know what they are. We're going to talk about them. We're going to tell you how much they cost at the start of the game. I'm going to show you how much they've developed. Which way is it? in 10 years time so the year is 2030 and we're going to be looking at all these players showing you who the best are and how much they will cost at the start of the game now just a favor before we start smash a like on the video that helps us out a lot if you appreciate what we do here we appreciate that subscribe if you're new monday wednesday and friday one of the kids videos are absolutely flying up and then later in the year we'll get into our save games Head on over to Patreon if you want to support the channel. You can download all the shortlists that we use, including this one. So it's as simple as this. New shortlist. Sorry, load shortlist. So we've got all the Wonder Kids, Best Young Strikers, and this list will only get bigger and it's available to all the patrons. So very best, AMRs, bang, load it up. And this is the list that we're going to talk about today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Pulisic comes up. At the top, he's not number one, by the way. We'll leave number one to the last. But Pulisic comes up at the top. We're sorted by age here. Start of the game costs you 90 million quid, which is surprising, to be honest with you, that Chelsea will let him go for anything under 100 million. But obviously, it's a lot of money, but you are getting one of the best players in the game for that. Look at that work rate and vision as well. Very good to have a winger with good work rate. It shows you that they will track back. Pulisic then, good, great decisions, which is good for a winger as well. Dribbling, finishing. First touch, first touch not that great actually. I always say decisions is excellent for um, a wide midfielder and an attacking midfielder because you've got the three, the holy trinity, dribbling, finishing and crossing. They need to decide which one they want to do. Do they want to shoot? Do they want to cross? Do they want to dribble? If they've got good decisions, then they will make the best decisions for you. Obviously, get good results for your team. That's Pulisic. Next up, Mbappe. Obviously, Mbappe is one of the best players in the world. Obviously, it's going to cost you upwards of 100 million. If you want to buy Mbappe at the start of the game, it's probably going to be very hard. But look how good he is. This video is about the best attacking midfielders right sided in the game. So, how could we not talk about Mbappe? He's got the Holy Trinity finishing first touch, dribbling, passing, off the ball 19. Look at that agility as well as his pace. There's not any players that come close to him in terms of pace in the game. Trust me. So that's Mbappe, world, world class. Uh, next up then, Samuel Chukwizi. Samuel Chukwizi will cost you less at the start of the game, £40 million. He's got dribbling and crossing as well as first touch. Good technique. And again, oh, decision's actually not that great, but determination, flair and leadership from your winger is absolutely fantastic as well as that athleticism. The, he's described as an elite winger. He's a left footer, so an inside forward, I would suggest. Francisco Trinchao is next. 55 million this guy's going to cost you, and he is one of the best prospects in the game, bar none. Left footed, plays on the right, but can play anywhere, I would suggest. Passing, technique, off the ball again. Vision is 18, so passing and vision. He can play in the middle for you. Composure, decisions. Agility, balance, natural fitness, this guy is insane. And for 44 million, who wouldn't want a piece of that? Jaden Sancho next. Now, we all know how much Jaden Sancho costs because Dortmund would not sell him to Man United for the reported 70, 80 million that they were offering with add ons. They wanted 100 million, and football manager is no different. Sancho, again, one of the best players in the game, one of the best prospects here in 2030. He is 29 years old. Crossing, dribbling, first touch, passing as well as vision again. Off the ball, flair, determination, decisions is 17 for Jadon Sancho and his composure is 17. So he's going to make a lot of right decisions for you, probably score a lot of goals as well with that finishing and composure. And look at that agility as well, 20. That's like Mbappe territory. So Sancho is insane in this game. Emmanuel Vignato next. I think I've got my pronunciation spot on there, but let me know if I haven't. Vignato cheaper, 14 million. That's 1-4 million at the start of the game. He's Italian, 29 years old here in 2030. Finishing and dribbling, both 15. Passing technique, vision, 
flair off the ball, anticipation. What more can you need from your wide player? He's right footed and he's playing on the right, so it could be an old fashioned winger for you. Crossing is pretty decent from this guy as well. Uh, but yeah, a lot cheaper than the other guys. 14, that is one four million pound. Mason Greenwood next. A lot of people questioning why he wasn't in the previous video, the strikers video. Could have gone on there, of course he could, but my scout reckons his best position is attacking midfield right. And who could deny him that as an inside forward on probably both wings? He'd be absolutely insane. He hasn't only got the Holy Trinity, he's got the Holy Quadrilogy. He's got free kick taking, first touch, finishing and dribbling. He's fast, he's got good decisions, sorry, good determination and flair and anticipation and he will score bags and bags full of goals. Unachievable at the start of the game, unfortunately. United, if they do sell him, are going to want upwards of 100 million. Now we're talking about some bargains. Fatty, for me, is a steal at the start of the game. It's 50 million, but... In Fatty, you're getting literally one of the best players. Look at the mental side that he's got. And Barcelona will let him go for 50 million. Trust me, it will be the best purchase you've ever made. He was great in FM20 and FM21. He looks insane as well. Just look at it. We don't even need to talk about that. Just look at Fatty. Right-footed, elite winger. Yeah, skillful. Insane. Now, these next two guys are the bargains of the century. Both will cost you less than a million pounds, okay? At the start of the game, these guys are going to cost you less than a million pounds. Brian Oddy, Brian Oddy, Brian Oddy, dribbling, anticipation, flair, vision, pace, fitness, balance, acceleration. He's left-footed, playing on the right. He's Ghanaian. He's playing at Real Madrid here in 2030. You can pick him up for less than a million quid at the start of the game. Just do it. I mean, it's an insane deal. And then the other guy, for less than a million quid, before we leave you guys, here he is. Raul Moro, dribbling 18. Dribbling 18. Now, obviously, in different saves, these guys are going to have different potential, but a lot of players will generally come out that it's very similar. So dribbling 18, first 16, technique 16, determination 19, off the ball, 17. And look at that agility, 20. Guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been FM Wonder Kids, the attacking midfield right version for FM 21. Head on over to Patreon if you want to download this shortlist. It helps the channel out as well, obviously, and you get a load of other goodies over there as well. But most importantly, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. Loads of content coming out, and we will see you next time. Peace.